The carefully selected team for the dialogue consisted of a woman and four men. The World Bank considers have made a huge impact towards eliminating poverty in the continent, and incidentally, two of them were Nigerians. The immediate past Minister of Agriculture, who is currently the president of the ADB, Dr. Akiwumi Adeshino, and a top entrepreneur philanthropist who has been empowering youths across Africa, Tony Elumelu. The dialogue was quite revealing and incisive as it was educative, bringing to the fore the numerous challenges facing basic prosperity rights, inclusive growth, unemployment, and power of Africa for industrial development. The World Bank has shifted tremendously because the evidence is overwhelming. Faster economic growth, that education outcomes, not, not just dollars into school buildings, but educational outcomes lead directly to uh, economic growth. Because Koreans were taught in a language they understood, education picked up. Because we are teaching our children a language they can't even follow, we are drawing them back. We realizing that prosperity in Africa is good for our business. Are also trying to make sure that we create a new, a new set of entrepreneurs who take over from us, who will create more prosperity. In the words of the ADB president to the young university students, agriculture is a future for Africa and must be seen as a business and not a development activity for the uneducated. But poverty must not be a comparative advantage of Africa. And Africa must not be a museum of poverty. I say this because I grew up out of poverty. I came out of it. Poverty is not good. Poverty is nothing good about it. A new song, End Poverty Now, featured. From Accra, Ghana, Cordelia Okwoma, NTA News.